Greetings, everybody. Faiz Jacobs, Member of Parliament here for Greater Athlone and also work for Small Business Development. I thought I'd share quickly just uh, a uh, synopsis of both the SONA State of the Nation address as well as um, the recent budget that the Minister has out outlined. I'm going to do it very quickly, very overview, but if there's key issues you want to follow up with me, feel free to contact me. Um, on the, all the social media platforms, and I'll also share my email, which is fjacobs at parliament.gov.za. So let's start with the SONA and all the things that affect the, um, the small business development. Uh, if we reflect on last year's SONA, the president launched the bounce back loan scheme post COVID. We wanted our, our economy to recover. We looked at the team that were dealing with the red tape reduction. Uh, tax incentives uh, to help SMMEs employ more young people and ensure that uh, SMME small medium micro businesses uh, get paid within 30 days and as well that we get more uh, government procurement for small business both in government and also uh, the private sector. This year the president highlighted uh, the following priorities, uh, growth and job creation to be driven by SMMEs, cooperatives and informal businesses. Um, we have a scheme by National Treasury to ensure that uh, the bounce back loan guarantee scheme to facilitate leasing of solar panels to small business and tax incentives around that. CFO to provide financial support to the amount of 1.4 billion rand for more than 90,000 entrepreneurs, that is you. Um, we're calling on these different programs. There's the Township and Renewal, Township and Rural Entrepreneur Program called TRIP. There's the Youth uh, Challenge Fund. There's the Disabled Fund. There's the She Trades Woman Fund. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities. Ours is just to ensure that our people get these opportunities and they benefit. And all of us uh, as South Africans can benefit from this. Then government focus on the partnership with South African SMME Fund. It's a private sector fund. We hope to establish 10 billion rand, 2.5 from government and 7.5 from the private sector. And then the post bank is a is a, a new state bank that we want to have to ensure that we provide affordable loan facility to our people. We've seen get, uh, banks mainly focus on profit driven and not really looking at uh, at creating um, affordable access to finance. It's easier for us to get uh, a loan for consumption uh, credit like. Uh, access to buy a, a luxury car, but it's much more difficult to buy a truck for a business um, in that. So I think we need to deal with that. Uh, some of the highlights I think the president spoke about we want to focus on is the load shedding, unemployment, poverty, and the rise of cost of living, as well as corruption and, and crime. Um, so I think those are some of the issues. Uh, another issue that's worthy of mentioning is the IDC earmarking 9 billion rand for women-led uh, businesses and CIFA uh, will drive this the youth challenge. Uh, there's the employment tax incentive. Basically, if you employ as an employer a young person, you pay them about 2000 or more per, uh, per month, you can get uh, up to 1500 1, rebate on your pay as you earn. Um, so we want to encourage uh, businesses to take up young people and young people also to take those opportunities to start someone to pick up experience so that they can uh, learn. So those are in short some of the the highlights of, uh, um, of this. Then in terms of the budget, the budget framework, as the minister outlined, um, we're going through a very difficult period we have to keep in uh, the the debt, manage the debt, uh, servicing our debt. Uh, we're servicing basically um, uh, increasing our debt. Eighteen percent of everything now, um, every rand, uh, eighteen percent goes towards servicing the debt. But we still a a strong social wage uh, budget. More than sixty percent of the non uh, servicing debt will go to uh, spending on social wage. Social wage is all the stuff that we are helping with our communities to deal with issues of poverty and job creation. Uh, Seven trillion over the next over the next three years. 
we have another 227 billion uh, for the COVID uh, uh, grant, um, the SRD grant, uh, learning and culture. We're getting 4.3. These are global figures. Community development is also getting an increase. Um, government is providing a tax relief of more than 13 billion to support clean energy. Uh, 14 billion is provided to individuals will, that will install solar panels and 5 billion for companies for renewables. So uh, there's going to be a tax incentive for both companies and businesses to procure solar and alternative green energy um, as part of our commitment to deal with our energy uh, energy crisis. Um, some of the expenditure, economic development, the infrastructure, industrialization, agriculture, those are the figures job creation 24 billion these are high high level figures so we spend quite a bit on on skills development universities the nsf fund um 50 billion of our money goes to provide affordable free uh, tertiary education fet education so we want our youngsters to take this up we want them to pass matric with exemption and so that all of them can uh, apply and also we're dealing with the issue of missing middle for those that are between those that, that can't afford. Um, these are some of the highlights. Um, um, and that is what, what we're focusing on. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, please feel free to contact me um, in all of these projects and programs that government uh, um, are, is putting out. And uh, our job as members of parliament is to facilitate opportunities to our people, ensure that everybody has affordable access to these grant services that government provide because we want to bring government closer to our people. In the spirit of the president's in initiative, let's roll up our sleeves, let's work together, let's let's see the glasses are full, stop complaining, so then let's start to mobilize and, and work together. Uh, thank you very much. Greetings.